Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we have another experiment for you guys or we can call it a test or a sanity check with the build I've been using to create a tunnel in the underground base. Alright so in the Operation Below Ground Base or Underground Base time lapse build that I've been working on I tried to create a rotor wheel digging rig to create a tunnel system. But for some reason, using a projector and a welding system, it did not want to weld the platform where the wheels will um, rotate on. So I wanted to try it on a smaller scale to test it to see if it really works or not. And it looks like it does kind of work, as you see here, because I did a little bit of testing earlier um, to see. But the ultimate experiment is to see if this whole system can actually create enough stone and steel plates to go through this mountain here and as you see the projection it goes right through all the way through the mountain towards the very end and it's also going to stick out a little bit more than the mountain itself so if you see there the projection goes right through it and i wanted to see if the drilling system left to its own accords where it can grab stone refine it and turn it to steel plates will it make it or will it just fall halfway through or whatever the case is so let's talk about the rig the rig itself has a few drills in front which i'm going to use the right click and hold drilling for it so it creates a bigger hole through the front the top and bottom drill that's already on by just flicking them on through the control panel that helps us collect the stone while it's going through the tunnel and behind it, you're going to see welders here to weld up the projection and also some refineries. So I have two large refineries or regular refineries and two assemblers behind it with attached with some speed modules to make things go a little bit quicker so that the platform can be welded as it goes through. Other than that, we have a few survival kits because I did start it with that to do the stone um, refining and also the steel plate production but with a little bit of testing it didn't work too well so I added the larger ones there because uh, at first I didn't think it could have held it with the weight but it, it worked pretty good actually so you'll see also an assembly back here so you'll see a sorter back here where it, it's going to dump everything but stone steel plates and iron so that the system doesn't clog up with gravel, nickel, and silicone that it collects. That's why you see some on the floor when I was testing it going forward a little bit. Um, this thing also has six batteries, almost fully charged. And the main part of the system, of course, is the hugging wheels. So the wheels are on top here, as you see, on top of the platform. It's going to be on the bottom of the platform. And it's going to be on the sides of the platform. So a little bit something different that I haven't shown before is where the rotors are connected on both sides. So that way it gives it a little bit better of a, an attachment so it won't break as easy as if the, the side ones here are not connected to the on, rotors on both sides. So a good tip for this and an easy way to get that rolling is to basically create a rotor on one side and all, all of them one side, put a small head on the rotor here attach a small grid wheel and then just build it and build it across until you get to the next portion of it and then you build the rotor here on the on the other side remove the head and add the small rotor head onto the wheel and then go to control panel and attach it to this rotor here so that's how you get that kind of connection sometimes the wheel length is not perfect so you might need to use a smaller wheel somewhere in the middle or towards the end that way you have a better and closer attachment to get that hugging and attached correctly another trick for this system is that one set of drills will actually be a right click and the other one is more of a left click or just on to collect stone so a trick to do that is basically get into your seat hold right click get into your menu system whether it's i or g let go of right click and then escape from the 
um, terminal or control panel and it actually stays right click that way so now we have a forward set that is right click and a top up and down set that is on a collection or a left click in a sense however the only problem is once you escape from the seat or get out of the seat the drills will stop um, the ones in the foot in the front at least so you have to sit in there in order to really make it work um, so I'm gonna have to right click again get into the menu skip out of it sit through this while it goes forward basically so let's get this thing rolling and see how well it does and will it make it through the mountain Alright, so that actually worked out pretty well. It did run out of the steel plates that I filled in the cargoes, but it was able to sustain uh, a welding actually with the refineries, assemblers, and everything like that to create the projections or weld up the projections, but not fully. So right now I'm in creative mode, so you can see a little bit of a difference in the blocks. But if I were to fly backwards, this is when I started creative mode. This is when the system itself ran out of all the steel plates, but it was producing just enough. And it's able to create one <laughs> steel plate or weld one steel plate on one side, but the other side 11 um, and 13s and it just varies that way. So it was able to sustain at least just building the steel blocks. So going through a tunnel, you can see most of it, it is just slightly welded as you see here. I'm going to keep going all the way towards this section where you'll start to see it slowing down a little bit. So in the very beginning, as I mentioned, I filled up two cargo containers full of steel plates and it was able to weld up most of it at its speed. But then eventually it was the system had to kind of keep up by gathering the stone itself from the top and bottom drills, refine it and produce steel plates. And it did pretty good in sustaining a long run throughout the whole entire tunnel. All right, so again, I'm not sure why it didn't work when the larger build that I had created in the um, op operation below ground base, our underground base time lapse build, but it works on a smaller scale and actually looks pretty damn cool. Uh, it's a long build, but a smaller size version of it, and it was able to drill through. 
the tunnel, tunnel or create a tunnel through a mountain fairly easily. Uh, I think it took about 30 minutes or so. I got to check back to kind of really see how long it took. But it's fairly quick. And of course, you got to create a projection very long. So I built that on the side, copied it, and then used the projector to project this and put it in the correct spot. And it's about a thousand grids long or a thousand boxes long. Maybe a little over. Uh, it was a little hard to count at some point, so I just create it as long as I can. So I would assume probably close to a thousand boxes from here all the way back to the base. Um, it's what I pretty much copied and projected onto here. All right, so the system is about to hit its end of the road and fall down. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be alert of upcoming videos. And of course, leave some comments to help with analytics. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.